seated shoulder extension, and we're also gonna do some hip rotations for uh, the hip rotators, internal hip rotators of our hips. So it looks like this. Hands are gonna go behind us right here. The closer we can get our hands to each other, the better. I'm going to pull my shoulders back and then scoot my butt forward a little bit. So at this point, you should start to feel a stretch in the front of this shoulder area. So we go back here. Then feet are just outside hip width apart. And I'm gonna go ahead and shift my hips so my knees fall towards the ground, the, the inner knee. And then I'm gonna do the other side. So the goal here is to try to get that inside of my knee to touch the ground, which might not happen, that's okay. And we're trying to keep both palms and fingertips connected to the ground. So we don't wanna let this happen with our hands in order to get this knee to touch the ground. If I stay connected to the ground with my fingers and my palm, it limits my mobility, but it's gonna increase the stretch. So give it a try. 